Okay, so let's talk about root 53. So root 53 is a managed DNS and DNS stands for domain name system. And what's a DNS overall? Well, it's a collection of rules and records that will basically help client understand how to reach a server through URLs. So think of it as what it says, it's routing clients to final addresses. So in AWS, you have a lot of DNS records available, but the most commons that will be asked of you to know is going to be A, which is a URL to an IPv4 IP, a quadruple A, which is a URL to an IPv6 type of IP, CNAME, which is mapping a URL to URL, and ALIAS, which is mapping a URL to an AWS resource. Now we'll see CNAME versus ALIAS in detail in the later, uh, later lecture, but for now, remember, they're just these most common records. So how does a DNS work? Well, say a web browser wants to talk to an application server, and the application server is at this IP, 32, 45, 67, 85. What we'll do is that the first thing we have to do is to talk to root 53, and that goes on behind the scenes. It's not something we have to do. Basically, the whole that's how the whole internet works. So our browser will make a DNS request, say for myapp.mydomain.com, and the root 53 will reply and say, by the way, in my records, it looks like this domain has this IP. This is an A record because I send back an IP, so it's a URL to IP mapping, and I send back the IP 32.45.67.85. Okay, so now my web browser has done the DNS request and has gotten back an IP from it. So now it knows directly to make an HTTP request directly to the IP and it will reach the application server. And it'll say, by the way, the host name I've asked for is myapp.mydomain.com. And then the application server will just reply with an HTTP response. So this is how DNS works. Obviously, it's way more complicated, but that's a simplified version. The first thing that happens is that there's a DNS request and then there is an HTTP request. So Root 53 can use different things. It can use public domain name that you own or buy, and then you can have whatever you want, application1.mypublicdomain.com, or a private domain that can only be resolved by your instances within your VPC. So for example, this domain, application1.company.internal, that's not something you can purchase on the internet. You'll have to make this a private domain, and that's only your applications can resolve this thing. Now, Root 53 has a lot of advanced features. Some will be load balancing, and we'll see it, how that works through different kind of records. There will be health checks, and we'll also see this in details. And then there's routing policy that we'll see as well in detail, such as simple, failover, geolocation, latency, weighted, and multi-value. So last thing you should know is that you are going to pay $0.50, so 50 cents per month per hosted zone. So Route 53 is not something that's free. There's no free tier. And if you go ahead with this tutorial and buy a domain name, you will also have to pay for that domain name about $12. So just so you know, if you go along with me in this lecture, then you'll have to pay a little bit of money. So that's it for just the overview. We'll do a deep dive into many of these advanced features as well. But for now, let's go ahead, create a domain name and try out a small record. 